Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to the Overpowered Investing YouTube channel. It is Sultan of FX with you. Today, I'm gonna make our first weekly outlook and setups for uh, major forex pairs that we are uh, that we do trade in our community. So let's start with uh, EURUSD. This content is gonna be more educational, uh, not only like our view on the pairs but also educational stuff. So uh, when you start your uh, outlook for a week, you should uh, always open your weekly time frame and define the levels, previous, uh, the highs and lows of the previous weeks, because these are the levels where do all the liquidity at the week is just gaze rate. So because it's all uh, weekly liquidity pools. So we do have this uh, high uh, where we might have our liquidity pool, our liquidity, uh, our liquidity on the weekly levels and we do have this previous high where do we have liquidity and below if we look below we do have this liquidity pool over here so uh, you have to ask yourself where is the price is nearer more nearer where it's more highly likely might go before so uh, when it mostly moves it clears the liquidity on both sides so it might clear here it might clear here and continue on the uh, major direction so so, uh, so in my opinion, like we do have this very strong movement to the downside. So we are just gonna move to the downside and clear the low liquidity. And in the future, we're gonna come back to those uh, top uh, liquidity levels on the weekly. Um, let's move to the daily. What do we have on the daily? We do have this uh, major break of structure. We do have this. Uh, we we have this uh, range over here. Uh, the price cleared liquidity above with this one and. Uh, price just broke down to the below so uh when we when we look for uh levels for entry uh personally i look for auto blocks uh the first auto block is over here the up candle before this major move to the downside and i look for a breaker block we do have a very beautiful breaker block over here and let me define the 50 percent of that break block with gan boxes and yeah actually those two levels are my potential entry points uh if i look for a trades uh, on euro usd uh yeah it might go just straightly to the downside come back to retest this uh inside bar no it's not actually inside bar but it's some uh range and then continue to the downside so uh those uh, three potential setups that i look for a week just um whenever price comes to your level only then look for uh, potential setups not uh not like before that so uh, always when you have a level, so I look for a 50% of this breaker block, go to the more lower time frame and look for a liquidity levels plus uh, some potential levels where the price might have a reversal. Uh, over here, we do have some uh, break of structure to the upside, so uh, we might see some movements, uh, sweeps, and then go to the upside. Uh, we do have here, if you see, this is a move up on the lower time frame, like five minutes, and then move to the downside. At both these levels, we do have our some stop limits. So this is a liquidity. And above this, uh, right on the 50%, we do have this auto block. It's very, like, very good confluence, actually. And let's try to, if, if this is our uh, last impulse to the downside, it's also matched with a 50%. So this level is actually at the uh, like premium level where we look for a sells. Yeah, right. The price might go to those 78, 6% to this beautiful auto block. Yeah, that all might happen, but uh, we just uh, should look for probabilities. So this is a one probable level where we might see uh, shorts. Um, this is uh, Euro USD. Let's move to AUD USD. Let's look on the daily level. And if we look for most of the times, I just look for last 20 bars. And this is, let me put a vertical line. Yeah, this is just our uh, range, actual range, where we do look for uh, direction. As you can see, um, and you do this only if uh, the overall direction is not clear. You just get the direction of 20, last 20 days and look for it. We do have this break of structure to the downside. If we go to the uh, four hourly time frame, we do have this beautiful break of structure to the downside as well. So uh, overall, we are going to the, down, uh, to the downside and let's see if this was uh, our actual like sweep uh, actual like um impulse to the downside at the beginning of the week we might see some sweats of the previous uh, week low and then just uh, develop uh up move up move to the upside like uh i do think that this level which is 
perfectly matched with 61.8% uh, is a liquidity. Uh, liquidity pool on for early time frame so uh we might come to this level we might sweep it sweep it to the upside or we might come to this make some inducement trade like the price comes touches it and then uh makes a reversal but this is going to be just inducement and the price is going to just strictly reverse to the upside mitigate some very crucial level over here and then continue to the downside uh when i see such kind of ranges i just get the whole range so in this situation i'm gonna take this rangey move to the upside so and 50 percent of that level is gonna be the level where i just look for a sales which is also matched with uh, last up move candle before the big uh, move to the downside so guys be careful with this level and look for a sales over here this is a u okay let's move to the gu the most lovely pair that most of the people trade on the previous week i did uh, have this level over here uh, that was crucial for me but we broke this level to the downside and um, actually if you look for um on if you look on weekly time frame we do have this beautiful order block over here we have this uh, very precise structure which is broken to the downside so uh in this week i believe we're gonna go down our potential levels for uh for the price to reach in this previous low we do have some uh, liquidity pools on these levels uh so where uh, the weekly liquidity pool that we have to look for so yeah it touched the liquidity pool above and it's going to go to the uh, down liquidity on the daily we do broke this uh, crucial structure so uh, now i just look for a sales on for hourly time frame we do have this break of structure we do have this beautiful auto flow over here and yeah this is our um this is our structure and uh i look for a sales I look for a sell somewhere around around like 61 8 percent or this might act as a liquidity as well and the price might go uh, straight up to the seven seven eight six level over here sweeping sweeping all those liquidity just uh some rangy moves to the downside just it's all you know it's all called uh my good friend like uh major peep calls it like price price letters like liquidity letters the price just gonna go to the upside sweeping all those highs and it it will just give a more fuel for the price to move to the upside and we will eventually reach this major level and then reverse this is just probability uh at least on 15 minute time frame you have to look for a reversal from those levels to confirm that this trade is valid this is gu coming to the usdk this is most interesting um on weekly time frame we did have this uh, order block over here last last uh, bearish candle before this uh up move this uh this like um impulse to the upside so on the weekly time frame we do have this liquidity pool this this is our li uh, weekly liquidity pool and this is our weekly liquidity pool and we do have these all minor uh price letters uh on the way so the price might uh just sweep take all of this liquidity and then it might reverse the downside but for now uh the upside liquidity liquidity is more nearer to the price so i'm expecting the price to move first to the upside as it most uh most of the times do like if you see the usd cat all the cat or AUD pairs or gpy pairs some commodity pairs they most of the time they tend to move very straightly without any major uh major reversals or major pullbacks as we say they just move so uh, in my opinion the price is going to just move and continue its direction on four hourly time frame we do have this break of structure to the upside and the price is just uh, creating uh, the minor minor uh minor like order flow to the upside we do have this break minor we do have this minor break to the upside so um yeah let's make it like this to be more visible and we do have those two levels that i'm looking for on the four hourly i do believe that the price might react from this level and this week this week also looks very beautiful and it just swept some liquidity uh previously so this uh week also very very beautiful for me so the price might go to this and go up or this and go up so uh just guys be very careful look for a uh, confirmation on the low time frame 15 minutes at least 15 min minutes when you treat for hourly time frame so uh yeah i'm looking for a uh, bullish usd cat yeah it's also might go at the beginning of the week the upside sweeps sweep some previous weak high uh, liquidity and then go to the downside and then go to the upside yeah it's all possible so be careful and trade only only from the from your point of interest
So this was this was our recovery investing. Thank you very much for watching. And if you like it, please hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and just leave your some comments below uh, below the video. If you have any suggestions for our improvements, uh, we would like we would love to hear them. Thank you very much, and have a profitable uh, blue uh, trading week. Bye bye, guys.